Good morning, Titans. We wanted to take a few moments to get you involved in your community. Lakeland is filled with so many different activities that can get you up and out of your house and walking around. Window shopping, fun cafes, farmer's markets, you name it. But be reasonable. We're going to give you some ideas for tonight if you're not busy, because we think that you'll enjoy a night out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, students of all ages, get ready for a night to remember. Downtown Lakeland is holding their monthly first Friday with the theme, A Night at the Circus. It's free! Tonight, you can experience attractions such as face painting, petting zoos, sword swallowers, and sideshow attractions. And no, there will not be any elephants, so don't ask me. Circus not your thing? Are you into watching Broadway musicals instead? Do you like Disney stories and good laughs? Then you should check out Peter Pan. Boys, I'm sure that your girl still loves Disney movies, and if you take her out to a nice dinner before, I'm sure that she'll love you even more. It's being shown at the Lakeland Community Theater around Lake Mirror. It's only $15 a student with ID, and it starts at 7.30, so don't miss it. Three events tonight, and one of them is free. As a high school student, free stuff is the best stuff. So go and participate in one of these events and have fun. Don't talk badly about Lakeland because if you look, things will be found. For TNT, I'm Deanna Peterson. Now back to the show. Do you hear that? Come closer. Closer. A little bit closer. Okay, there, now stop. Listen. Do you hear it now? Silence. Complete and utter silence. It's so quiet that if I were to drop a pin on the floor, it would disturb the ghostly silence that surrounds this hall. But why is that so important? Testing! Testing! testing. testing. That's right. Testing season has made its way here. And this is usually the time of year where students get the terrible testing syndrome. It's not as bad as it sounds, I promise. Terrible testing syndrome is something that all students get during this time of year because they're terrified of testing. No one likes to test, but it's okay. Let's head over to our guidance counselors who can tell us a little bit more about how we can defeat this terrible syndrome. See, terrible testing syndrome isn't that bad. All you have to do is go to your guidance counselor and they'll know exactly how to help you. Do your homework, study a little bit more, and go talk to the teacher in the class that you're struggling with. Testing season will be a breeze if you know how to handle it. So good luck on your test, Titans, and oh, it's time to go. Bye, Titans. Enjoy the show. Let me transfer you to your guidance counselor, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you. My pleasure. Have a good day. Let's get something straight. Being an office aide does not mean you get to sit in the office for over an hour and do absolutely nothing. There's so many things that you can do to help your fellow teacher, from making copies, to checking students in and out, to even answering the phones. All those little things can help your teacher in big ways. We went around and asked some teachers what they found in a good teacher aide. Let's go check it out, because they only look for the best of the best. Hello, Tenor Rock High School. How can I help you? Like I said, they only want the best of the best. Because in reality, they only want mature people up in the office. When you get a job in the business world, that's what you have to be, mature. Now, I have to hurry up and get back to my teacher or else I'll get in trouble. For TNT, I'm Deanna Peterson. Now back to the show. Every year, we take many days off. This Monday, for example, January 18th, many of you will sleep in, play video games, or go to hang out with some of your friends. As fun and exciting as that sounds, I'd like to take a minute to explain why this Monday is not only a day off, but a national holiday, also known as Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So growing up, he was determined to make a better America. Part of making his better America took place at the March on Washington, and that took place in, well, Washington. However, his memory continues to live on every year on the third Monday of every January. So this Monday, while you're sitting at home and relaxing or hanging out with friends, I want you to take a minute to remember a brave and beautiful soul that helped save many lives as well as build his better America. For TNT, I'm Deanna Peterson. Now back to the show. I'm Deanna Peterson, and today I'm coming to you from the Florida Renaissance Festival right next to the Mosey. On today's show, I will introduce you to some sights and fights in this festival, show you a little bit about archery, and bring back a heroic outlaw. So sit back and relax, because TNT starts now. For those of you who don't know, 
know there is a renaissance festival held every year next to Mosey. To give you a little insight, here's a sneak peek at all the sights, fights, and tasty delights of this festival. Who knew that there was a place so close to us that was related to medieval times? Oh, hey, it looks like the jousting tournament's about to begin. So for TNT, I'm Deanna Peterson. Have a fantastic Friday, and we'll see you back here soon.